Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're gonna have a little chat. Today we're gonna talk about why the internet is so annoying, and we're gonna talk about how I address that for my own personal self here on this channel. Obviously, you know, uh, you've been following this channel for a while. If you haven't, do me a favor and um, hit the subscribe button because I think you're gonna find this is pretty cool. We're getting to some technical stuff here in a minute, but I wanna surround it with this conversation. Uh, you know, every time somebody wants to pick some sort of new gear or new, I don't know, accessory for their guitar, the very first thing they do is go on the internet, on the old Facebook or somewhere and say, or some forum and say, what strings should I get? What picks should I use? Or my personal favorite, they'll already buy it, they'll have it at their house, be using it, and then post, I just bought this thing, what do you think? Is it good? Right? Sort of weird to me. I never really understood that. <clears throat> so I am at a point with my acoustic. I've had this thing for about a year and a half or so. Two years maybe? Yeah, two years. And uh, I've been playing D'Addario 13s on it this whole time, and I absolutely love them. I went down to 12s for like one day, couldn't couldn't handle it. Put it back to 13s. It's a 25 and a half inch scale guitar. Just this is my favorite guitar, my favorite acoustic I've ever had. I love it. Uh, but I thought, you know, I'm gonna experiment with some strings. I know what I don't like, and I know what I do like. The problem with knowing what you like and knowing what you don't like is you get in a rut and you never want to try anything new, right? So I got on the internets this morning on our Dylan Talks Tone Facebook page and I said, hey guys, what strings uh, are you using right now? But I'm not gonna stop there. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go and we're gonna go order four, five, six, I don't know, sets of strings. I'm gonna basically buy everything that uh, the people on that Facebook page, on that post, recommended that I try. See, the thing about the, the internet is, a lot of people want to make all kinds of opinions and they want to make have this like almost belief system around guitar playing, like about what affects tone, without ever actually trying it themselves. Um, strings are a little bit innocuous to me. I don't really care which strings I use um, for the most part. I'm not gonna get into my biases about strings until we get some here and we try them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on this guitar. I'm gonna play it for one week at a time. I'm going to set aside some time every day to play so that I get consistent time out of each set of strings. Um, and I'm gonna just kinda do an experiment. I'm gonna record the whole thing, so maybe it'll take six or eight weeks to put all this together. If you follow our Facebook page, I will probably throw some little teasers and updates over there at facebook.com slash Dylan Talks Tone uh, so that we can figure it out. I'm gonna put in the comments below of this video the strings that I'm buying. I'm curious to see, go look at the links. I'm curious to see if you've tried any of the strings that I've bought uh, for this experiment and what you think of them. Leave it in the comments below. It's not that we don't want to get other people's opinions and experiences about the things that we try for our guitar playing. Obviously, that is a huge help in, you know, trying to make good choices. The thing is, is you can't just rely on, I don't like this string, you shouldn't buy it. Go try it for yourself. I'm going to tell you that the only, the Set of the sets of strings that I'm buying for this experiment, I think are gonna cost me delivered to my door from Amazon like 54 bucks, right? So that might not even be an experiment that you need to do all at the same time. But when a set of strings is $8.99, $12.99, we can afford to over time experiment for ourselves and not just make up, you know, opinions and then start fights on the internet. That's not what it's all about. What's really interesting about this conversation this morning on our Facebook page is nobody got upset, nobody got irritated, because they all know the kind of culture around here at Dylan Talks Tone, and we know that we're just having a constructive conversation. So, go in the comments below, be part of that conversation. I am very curious to see what your thoughts on acoustic and electric, electric strings are. Check out the links below um, because I'm getting some stuff that I've never tried before. I'm getting some stuff that I have tried before and absolutely hated, 
But like I said, you can't get in a rut just because you tried something 10 years ago, right? So we're gonna do this and uh, I'm gonna put them, like I said, one week per set of strings. I'm gonna document everything and at the end of it, uh, I'm gonna form my own opinions on what I've found for this particular guitar, okay? And as along the way, we're gonna talk about why you you can't just take one opinion about one guitar. Don't just take the opinion I have. Don't just say, well, he said these strings suck or these strings are awesome. Don't do that because this is my guitar. This is how I have it set up. And along the way, we're gonna talk about the differences between acoustic guitars. We'll talk about specific brands. We'll talk about specific setups and how that affects all the things that we're about to talk about just about strings. It's gonna be super fun. My name is Dylan. This is Dylan Talks Tone. I hope you enjoyed this experiment and this conversation. Do me a favor and be part of it in the comments below. If you have questions about any of this stuff, put it down there and uh, we'll make a video just for you. The other thing is make sure you subscribe because I'm going to probably put out through two or three videos about this um, and I would like you to be a part of the experiment along with me. I think it's going to be really fun.